welcome back guys today in this tutorial i will show you guys how to make this cool text effect in adobe illustrator first thing i'm going to choose the type tool and type uh, 3d text in here uh, you can type anything you want i'm just going to type 3d text uh, for now and just place it in the center and you can choose a font from the available library or for this i'm going to choose a font from creative cloud fonts go to creative cloud fonts adobe fonts and and i'm going to explore browse fonts and in here i'm going to type 3d text same as our text selected in illustrator let's make them capital also make them bigger and i'm going to filter out the text in here i want sans serif type and very thick bold one and also uh, middle weight i will choose the highest available height as well and the uh, shape in here all right we have found many fonts in here let's go to the third page i think i will go with this font in here pragmatica you can choose any font you want i choose this font because it has very thick uh, font face which will be very nice for our design all right and then we will go and view the font family where you can see all the different sizes and the thickness and weights of this pragmatica font i think for our design this pragmatica black suit the best so let's activate the font in here and which will activate the font in our creative cloud then now let's go back to illustrator and select this font from the character font face and then i will go to type and make these as outlines so that we can edit the text we don't need to keep them as text format anymore now go back and draw a line on top of this text like this and also make sure your smart guides are on so that you can easily place the lines in the edges like this and all track and copy one more line below and make some more copies in between like this i have made like five copies in between and then select all these lines and go to align and distribute them equally make sure to select all lines and deactivate the outline just keep them blank and now select all of them including the text go to pathfinder and select divide which will divide all these text based on these lines now we only need this text we don't need the outside area so double click to open this uh, pathfinder group select one of these shape in black color and go to select same and select by fill color which will select all the fill color burst based on your selection which is the back color now ctrl x for cut and close the group by double clicking and now delete everything which is the leftover from the selection now ctrl shift v which will place everything you copied into the artboard all right so now we have our text which we have divided with our lines what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to apply some colors from my swatches in here just some random colors for now so i'm going to start from this green and apply until the darker tone for each of these uh, shapes these are just temporary later we will apply proper colors okay now select all of them character by character and make them as groups individually you can select Control G for groups. Now go to filter, 3D and bevel and rotate. Make sure to activate the preview. Also make sure to make the shading no shading. Now you can rotate whatever the way you want. So I will rotate something like this in here. And once you're satisfied, say OK. Now do the same with the other characters also. Select the D, go to 3D and no shading. And this time I'm going to rotate to opposite side. I'm going to place each text in a, in a different angle for this design. So let's do this part faster. All 
all right guys so i have made all the text into 3d now select all of them expand these text now double click and select all these uh, shapes which are created by our filter and make them as one shape select both of them and go to pathfinder and unite them you will find these in uh, mostly uh, in the top and the joints all right i will do the same for rest of the text also i will make this part uh, faster all right so everything looks fine now select all of them and go to outline and apply a white color outline you can bring down this uh, outline weight by stroke weight in the properties window in here now you can correct these uh, leftover shapes created by our filter if we have make any errors earlier with these outlines easier so i'm going to correct these parts in here all right all look fine so let's uh, draw a background also i'm just going to draw a rectangle and apply a darker tone and these colors we have applied so far just uh, temporary colors i have applied from my swatches i already selected some colors for this design in here you can find it in here so let's bring this one into our artboard okay so we can recolor our artboard by making all these color as swatches in here and let's name them just set to and now select all the objects in our artboard and go recolor and you can recolor them by just selecting just by selecting these uh, new swatch in here but we are going to do uh, manually for this uh, artboard all right so let's cancel and i'm going to select this color by using the magic one tool in illustrator if you don't find your tool go to more tools and select your magic one tool from here or you can just uh, press on y to bring the magic one tool all right so select on one color and apply the color you have chosen from your artboard and select the second color and apply the color from here and same for the third one also but if you can see when i try to select the third color it's selecting all the green colors if your colors are too close uh, you will find this uh, issue in illustrator but anyway this is a simple artwork i'm going to select uh, manually uh, so i'm going to choose a direct selection tool and select these colors uh, manually and i'm going to apply the colors from our color selection in here so i will make this part faster and come back to you guys all right guys i have applied colors for all of these places now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the same color and make some shadings so based on the lighting i will change some highlights and shadows just going to use the color picker and the brightness control to make the color lighter in some places and darker in some places so i will start from the top and i will make the part this part faster this is very easy all right guys all looking good now select all these ticks and go to properties and apply a uh, stroke color for these uh, shapes individual shapes and and we can bring down the stroke width by bringing down the width of these uh, strokes in here all right now select all these text shapes and all drag which will copy everything and select all of them again 
and go to pathfinder and unite them as one object now go to stroke and apply a stroke you can make the stroke with very high which will look like this and bring it to the text and you can bring it behind the text like this all right our text uh, shape is almost done let's bring it bigger and you can also make these hedges uh, rounded corners by going to the stroke settings and click on this uh, rounded corner option in here and also you can apply some uh, decoration for this design i'm just going to place some uh, circles in here uh, random sizes and i will make this part faster and one last thing i want to do is i want to apply these dots onto the top surface in here just draw a small uh, circle small ellipse in here and change the color to white you can change to any color you want i'm just going to change it to white and go to object pattern and make pattern and define a name for the pattern and also i'm going to change the grip type uh, grip type to uh, bricks and width i will make it a bit more wider and all okay just close it and you will see your new pattern in your swatches window now copy the shape on top and shift ctrl v which will place exactly on top and apply the newly created pattern to that new uh, shape now do the same with all the shape i will make uh, this part faster like this all right okay guys all looking good i will apply for bottom part also and this is how you make uh, this uh, design in illustrator and also if you want to edit this uh, pattern just double click on the pattern and select let's say if you want to change the color you can change the color by changing the color in here which will change the color for your pattern or you can make it smaller or bigger you can do whatever you want all right all right guys that's it for today and thank you for watching hope you guys learned something new from today's tutorial and see you guys in the next uh, tutorial